Alright, hey everybody, Liam does game here and welcome back to another episode of Unturn. Today we're going to do basically an update video of the new Elver update. Now this is the final update and today we're going to talk about what changed in this update and we're going to talk about the new items. And yeah, if you guys are interested to see more videos, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new. And also, we are doing a mythical giveaway, so if you guys are interested to join that, make sure to click the link in the description below. And yeah, without wasting any more time, let's just get straight into it. So, the main thing of this update that was added was the new quest line. Now, I already made a whole video on it, so if you guys are, you know, if you guys are interested in that, make sure to go check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's definitely the best one. Um, but as that it is the main thing that was added. And also, there's like a huge gambling system now as well, which are basically in the safe zone. So that is the main thing that happened. Now, obviously to unlock the vault, that's what it's called. The gambling area is called the vault. In order to unlock that area, you would need to finish all of the quests. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's very, very fun. Again, if you guys are interested to know more about that and to watch a whole guide on how to finish it, it will be in the description below. So new items. First, we have these, which are basically decoys. Now, if you guys don't know the decoy, is it's basically from CSGO. You could it's basically just a sound kill. And there are quite a lot of them actually. They keep going on for a long time. So yeah. Will it ever shut up? I don't know. It's it even does a reloading sound effect. That is very cool. Now there are quite different ones. That was the high caliber one, which was a heat wave. They're suppressed. There is Sniper, Shotgun, and SMG. They are very, very cool. I'm pretty sure there is a mod like that. Um, I like them quite a lot. They're quite cool. And if we just throw them all at the same time, it could be quite chaotic. So let's just do that because that's pretty funny. It's literally a whole battle just with those decoys. So <laughs> that is very cool. Now let's just wait for them to shut up. Damn, you could make a whole music mix with all of these, eh? Alright, so finally they shot up. But that is, those are decoys. Those are very cool. I wish they are added in, in Unturned Vanilla as well, not just in Elver. But yeah, those are the decoys. So, next we have ourselves the racing cart. Now, this is the only vehicle that was added, which is basically this. It's a cart, but it's actually much faster. It has the same sound cue as an X-Ray. It is quite faster. Eh? Um, and it's kind of cool at the same time. It can go on for quite some speed. The normal card that we have is kind of, kind of poor. You know, it's very slow. I think you could pass it by just running next to it. But that one, it is very, very epic. So, next we have ourselves the makeshift scope. Now, this makeshift scope is basically a 3.75 zoom. And, yeah, that's how it looks like. It's very good, new attachment, I like it. I'll put it on this candy cane Moscow over here. Uh, but yeah, makeshift scope. After that, we have ourselves the swords. Now these swords, they are basically the same. There are quite a couple of them, but they are literally the same. All there is, is that they are, they, they just have a different name. But these are a quest item. You could get them from quest. There is a quest where you would need to get the blueprint and from there you would need to craft them. And then another quest, you could just replace it to whichever you want. Right now, this one is called Big Blue, Big Blue Owl, Sword of Light, which is the main one. Zenith, there's quite a lot of them. Staff, MK2, there's quite a lot of them. I like them, they look really, really cool, especially if you have Bloom on. I like the animation, like even if you go in third person, it redoes everything. It's very, very cool. So, those are the Swords of Light. Next, we have ourselves some barricade first, barricades first. We have this welcome mat. Very cool, kind of makes your base homey. Um, homey-ish. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. But makes your base more than just a base, you know. Makes, your, makes it a home, right? I'm a, right? So, yeah, first barricade. You could literally just break it with your fists. fists. Over here, we have a mailbox, which is a storage. Uh, you could also break this with your fists. And over here, we have the slide. Very epic. I've always wanted to have a placeable slide. Um, and over here, we have ourselves 
a painting, which is the church, the church interior. Um, yeah, that's cool. And over there it says sub to Liam, which I should definitely agree to do that. So the final item, we have this, which is a gloss roof. Now, basically, this is a floor. This is a roof. Okay. Basically, that's it. Gloss roof. Uh, you cannot punch this, obviously. Definitely, you need to raid this. Uh, it's a raidable item. You could place it as your main roof. So imagine like having a big base and your top floor would be just of roof of these gloss roofs. I really like that. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, that's it. Now, there are other some changes, which I won't really talk about them. For example, like there are more spawns for dorm keys and other items spawn like more commonly. Uh, but yeah, that is it for the the final update of Elver. These are the final items that were added. Very cool. Oh yeah, and I also forgot about this, the Horde Summoner. Now this is also something that is used for the quest. Now this is finished for, you need to do a Horde during a quest. This is what you need to have. Now only 80 zombies spawn and you can only place it in the dungeon. It doesn't drop any loot. Actually, it's just a part of the quest. So... Yeah, that's it. And also we have a map, which is a part of the quest. A lot of items are technically for the quests. So, yeah. That is it, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, if you guys are new, I'd appreciate it. If you guys subscribe, drop a like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.